<coughs> Good morning. Well, this morning, very shortly, the kids have just been dropped off at school. There we go, five past nine. And we're out to where uh, we're going to pay a visit to the farm today because we're going to pick up some more milk, we're going to make some cheese, some butter, and uh, maybe some other bits and bobs of it. So why don't you come along with me now? We'll go to the farm. We're going to the farm. Okay, the time is now. You saw me leaving the door at uh, nine o'clock. It's ten to five. Um, I've had lots of other things to do, which is what I've been doing. We've got 20 litres of milk there. And also 20 litres of milk in this pot, which is heating. That there has got water in it, which that one's sat on, and it's heating like... Uh, 0 0.1 of a degree Celsius per 30 seconds uh, so we're heating that up and we're gonna make some cheddar a cheese we've got a nice little cheddar cheese procedure there um, obviously something else you're gonna need is some rennet I'm using vegetarian rennet for this uh, So um, we're going to heat this up now and uh, we'll add a culture. I've got a culture that was saved here from a previous batch which has been frozen. Now there's enough here to inoculate that five, that 20 litres of milk um, and that's going to go in there tonight. Uh, so we should be cutting the curd uh, within an hour or two I think. Mm. So I'll see you when we uh, when we get up to temp. We're shooting for about thirty-one to thirty-three C. So uh, we'll be there shortly. Okay, we're back, chaps. Um, we're approaching the temperature now where I want to add the uh, uh, culture to the milk. We're at twenty-five degrees C. Um, but there's a couple of things I want to show you because I've just had it down for another video so I thought I might as well show you this. That's some previous cheeses that I made. There we've got a, a cheddar. That was just to get the method down. And this is a kafili cheese. As you can see, we've already been into this one. We couldn't wait. 
and that's probably going to be polished off over the next couple of weeks this one's a salted a rind if you can just see the salt on the edge of there perhaps not focus but yeah it's on there um, and something else that I thought I'd just show you now I didn't have a big enough uh, knife to cut the curd when we get to that stage so I've got an old saw which I've just shaved off the teeth as you can see just put a bit of an edge along there and uh, you know that fits nicely into my pot with room to spare so I can use this to stir and then when it comes to it you know it's going to be perfect for cutting the curd so um, if I just do this one handed we'll just pop the lid on this tub here now this is the culture that was prepared two weeks ago it was during this batch of cheese actually it's a mesophilic culture um, and as you can see it was frozen into ice cubes and we just had it out thawing a little bit but to assist in that I'm just going to tip all of it into here and that's going to be our culture for this particular batch of cheese you can just see them flow in there so if I just uh, just flip the camera a minute have a sniff yeah I mean it doesn't smell too cheesy but uh, I suppose that's sound that it's quite healthy so all I'm going to be doing now is just sort of just mixing this baby in here just get that culture in and we're going to get it up to 30 degrees just dropping a little bit now because of that ice but it's about 26 and uh, once we hit 30 to 33 then uh, we're just going to let it stand a little bit and then I'll be testing the pH of the milk just to check for a, a drop to show me that the, uh, the, the culture is working. Right, so I shall see you when we get to that stage. Okay, we've got some water here at 31 degrees, which is similar to the war the milk there this has been boiled and cooled just to drive off any uh, chlorine and now we're going to add the rennet this is vegetarian rennet and they want four drops per five liters and we've got 20 liters so we want 16 drops here we go Ten, fifteen, sixteen, and always one for luck. Just give that a quick stir with the old probe. And then we'll just pop the lid back on the rennet. That can go into the fridge shortly. Now what I'm going to do with the milk is first just give it a stir up and down to drop the cream into the milk because the cream will float to the surface otherwise. I'm just going to quickly look at the time. It is quarter to seven. So we've had, if I look at my notes, an hour and a half or an hour and 20 minutes of ripening time for this culture. And I'm going to want to put this rennet in as um, evenly distributed as possible. There we go, that's in. And then we're going to stir up and down again 
for about three minutes. Some recipes call it five minutes, but three minutes should should do it. And we'll get it all distributed throughout the milk. Okay, it's been much longer than the anticipated few minutes I thought it was going to take to set this milk. Now I bought some new vegetable rennet today. Well, it's arrived today, I bought it the other day. And uh, the milk, as you can see, has not set yet, and this is two hours later. Now the milk is absolutely brand spanking new stuff. It, come off, it was out of the cow yesterday. So I dare say there's an issue with the rennet that I'm using. Um, but what I've done is put a, another uh, dose in there of equal amounts. Um, and I'm probably going to leave it, if needs be, overnight. And we'll sort of begin this again in the morning. Well, wouldn't you know it. It's half an hour later. It's half past nine. I've just had a quick look. And... Uh, you can see that? You see the imprint in there from the pot? Yeah, we've got a curd. It's actually set now. Just put a bit of light on there for you. You might be able to see that a bit better. It's a little bright, but you'll get it. So if I just dip my finger in there, rise it up. We're not getting a clean break yet, so it's still not completely set. Um, which means that I'm not going to... I could force it through tonight, you know, but probably best not to, in all honesty. Uh, I'll let that set up quite well, and if I... Uh, leave it overnight then the culture that I've put in there is really going to kick out some acid and be able to te test it for the pH in the morning and um, just have a quick smell yeah it will it'll be much more acidic and stronger cheddar when it's finished so um, I'm going to leave that in there but